Hi students, our today's topic is Werner's theory of coordination compounds. Werner is considered as the father of coordination chemistry. This Werner's theory explains the formation of complexes. This Werner's TAE explain the formation of complexes. They are summarized into some of the postulate. I will explain them one by one. First postulate here is a metal atom or ion possesses two types of valences valences those are primary valency and secondary valency primary valences are ionizable valences Secondary valences are non-ionizable. That means these can dissociate into ions. Primary valences can be dissociate into ions. But the secondary valences cannot be dissociate into ions. It is the first postulate of the Werner. And when coming to the secondary, second postulate... The primary valency of a metal is the oxidation number and the secondary valency is the coordination number of complex ion. Here in the first point I said that there are two types of valences for metal atom that is primary valency and secondary valences but what are primary valences and secondary valences are given in this second point primary valences of a metal is nothing but it is the oxidation number of the central metal atom and the secondary valency of the metal ion is the coordination number of a complex ion for example i will give an example here See, in this Cu NH3 4 2 plus it is a complex in this the metal ion Cu is having plus 2 oxidation state it is termed as the primary valency and this, when coming to the secondary valency, it is the coordination number of the complex ion. Here the coordination number of the complex ion means number of donor atoms in the ligand. Here are four donor atoms. So, the secondary valency here is four. Like this, I will give some more example for this. And the second example for primary valences and secondary valences is consider this complex FeCN6,4- In this complex, here the metal ion is having the oxidation state that is plus 2. It is the primary valency. Just calculate the oxidation number, it is the primary valency. And the secondary valency here is FeCN6, 4 minus is the complex and here the oxidation state of a metal atom is plus 2, it is the primary valences and number of the coordination number is 6. Coordination number here is 6, it is the secondary valency. 
I'll give one more example. In Fe, Cn6, 3 minus, here you can see, Fe is having plus 3 oxidation state. So, it is the primary valency. And the coordination number is 6. It is the secondary valency. I will give one more example for this. Consider this complex Pt NH3 twice Cl2. Pt NH3 twice Cl2. In this platinum is having the oxidation number that is plus 2. Just calculate the oxidation number. If you don't know, please check out my earlier videos. It is plus 2. And the coordination number here becomes 4. Here platinum's plus 2 oxidation state is the primary valency and the coordination number that is here NH3 atoms are 2 and Cl are 2. The complete will become 4. Sum up these two, 2 plus 2 is 4. The coordination number here is 4. It becomes the secondary valency. As I said in the second point that the primary valency of a metal is the oxidation number. Primary valency means it is the oxidation number of metal atom or ion and the secondary valency means it is the coordination number of complex ion. It is the second postulate of Werner's theory. Let's now study third postulate and see this third postulate that is primary valency of metal ion is satisfied by negative ions whereas the secondary valency of metal ion is satisfied by neutral molecules which acts as a ligands or by the ions. Here in the third postulate, primary valency of metal ion is satisfied by the negative ions and the secondary valence of metal ion is satisfied by neutral molecules which acts as ligands or by the ions. I will give you one example. You will get to know. Example here is If you consider this complex as example here you can see the primary valences that is oxidation state of central metal atom is plus 2 it is satisfied by the negative sulfate negative charges of the sulfate SO4 consists of 2 minus charge and the central metal atom consists of plus 2 charge here the primary valences is satisfied by the negative charge of the two negative charges of the sulphate. Here are two negative charges of the sulphate. Here the primary valence is plus 2 is satisfied by the two negative charges of sulphate. And the secondary valence is satisfied. Secondary valence is satisfied by the four neutral ammonium molecules. Here the secondary valence is satisfied by four neutral ammonia molecules and the fourth postulate is that secondary 
valencies of metal or arranged in space to give definite geometrical shape to the complex depending on the number of ligands you can see in this cunh3 2 plus complex here it has a square planar structure that is nh3 4 sorry nh3 4 this has square planar structure here four ammonia molecules acts as ligands it has a square planar structure in the fe cn6 3 plus in this complex it has a octahedral geometry and the fourth postulate says that the secondary valencies of metal are arranged in space to give definite geometrical shape that means the coordination number that is nh3 4 here of 4 nh3 these secondary valencies of metal are arranged in space to give definite geometry if you consider in cu nh3 4 2 plus complex here cu is surrounded by four of the nh3 ammonia molecules so it has a square planar structure in fe cn6 here fe is surrounded by six cn molecules it will become a octahedral geometry i have already said you to that coordination polyhedra it is the octahedral here you can see in here it is fe is arranged and cn6 are the ligands and it has a square planar structure here the cu is arranged around this nh3 molecules are present this is about the fourth postulate now we can study the merits and demerits of verner's theory that's it these are the four postulates of verner's theory and these are very very important first one is it explains the formation of complex ions the first merit is it explain the formation of complex ions and it explains the second is geometry of complex ions second one is it explains the geometry of complex ions and the third one is it differentiate between the primary and secondary valencies it differentiates between the primary and secondary valencies the merits of verner theory are first it explains the formation of complex ions and in second geometry of complex ions it explains the geometry of complex ions and in the third it differentiates between the primary and secondary valencies now coming to the demerits of verner's theory it does not offer electronic interpretation of formation of complex ions it does not offer electronic interpretations so it is the major demerit and the second major demerit is that it cannot explain how a negative ion can satisfy both primary and secondary 
valencies. This theory says that negative ions can satisfy both the primary and secondary valencies, but it does not, it cannot explain how a negative ion can satisfy both the primary and secondary valencies.